Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Welcome back. All right. So single storyline. It is time we jump into one. I'm sorry. I know I missed the one on Wednesday. I had uh, family and everything going on and friends and all kinds of stuff happening this week. But we're back. Let's get back to it. So I try to always put out singles reads on uh, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. OK, so we have Truth Be Told. We have Unfinished Symphony. Ooh, there's... um. There is definitely still energy. Um, you notice that we have somebody's face here, even on this little egg that hasn't hatched. And we have um, we have the idea that even music can really transport someone back to a time and a place. Now, this doesn't have to be about love. This could be about a lot of different things, a lot of different situations, but w this window is still open. It's not a doorway. It's only a window and it's a small one. But to me, truth be told, somebody's not stopped thinking about somebody else. Somebody left an indelible mark on another person's life or a situation or a place or an experience left something on them, in them, and that thing is still like the little tiny ember that's still glowing. And we have a character who's simply aware that it's not done yet. There's a piece of me that still has to go back. There's a piece of me that knows that this is not over. Okay, nothing annoys me more than this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, hold on. Nothing has hopped out of this card, this deck yet. And I want to go with a totally different deck. Let's go this route. Uh, the reason I say nothing annoys me more than this is because if somebody's like, oh gosh, I know there's still this unfinished business, then what you going to do about it? Now, maybe I should say, well, that's lovely. This means that characters are taking time and space for divine timing to kind of like flow. Hey, Don, good to see you. Halima, Empress DC, Timelessness, thanks for popping by today. Um, you know, it could be that maybe, maybe my annoyance should be tuned down about 10,000 notches. We have the King of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. No, I'm back to be annoyed. I'll tell you why. We got mask wearing. This is what bogs stuff down. When somebody says, I know deep down that it's not over, there's still this little doorway open. <sighs> I want a new beginning, but I'm going to wear a mask about it. And so is this other person. Why? Why do we have characters that... Now we have two characters that are both wearing masks. Just tell me the big why. Why is this being half hidden? Ten of swords. Ten of swords. And here we have kind of like the, uh, it's not even a mask now. It's like the almost faceless person or where the eyes should be. It's just cranium. And we have kind of like a black hole opening up behind them. This is two people who cannot accept that something is over. And the truth of it is they don't want it over. But it's weird because with the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles should not be faking anything. This is a big contradiction. A King of Pentacles, is kings in general, are usually straightforward and honest and stable. We could have two earth energies involved in a situation. This could be two business owners. Maybe this is like siblings who've done business together, used to run a business together, and they're like, we're not talking but both of them really just want to bury the hatchet because they can't quite believe that this is the way it's going to go. Seriously, am I never going to talk to them again? That can't be the way this goes. We could say it that way. This does not have to be about romance, but tell me more about the King of Pentacles because, you know, maybe this is pride in the way. Maybe this is fear in the way. It's foolishness. And this is, unfortunately, it is about love. So although this is a single story and we assume that our characters are single, Truth be told, this is about two single characters, neither of whom wants to be single. They're both being foolish when it comes to, they're walking on the moon, so they're walking on the what's hidden, carrying this rose around. Neither person will tell the other one, I actually still love you. Why will they not do that? Why, this just seems like so much wasted time to me. Five of Pentacles. 
because you left me in the cold. And we have this message in a bottle behind her and we have, you know, um, statues which are made of stone and show expression, but the expression doesn't change. We have really two people in this storyline, or at least one who feels like the other person is a stone in regards to them. It could well be, since she sits in front of the message in a bottle, if she cast a message out, she got nothing back from them. They reacted like a statue. That could be why. It's like, oh, never mind. They've left me out in the cold. Therefore, this is over. Do I still care about them? Yes. But what am I to do about it? You know, I've already thrown out a message. It didn't bring anything back. So instead, I'm going to have a stiff upper lip. I'm going to act like the King of Pentacles. I'm going to move on, move forward, even though I'd like a new beginning with them. Instead, I just have to have a new beginning with myself, with my own life. However, a song brings back a memory or not even a song, but it's just this particular song is not over. Let me, um, let me ask about the other person, the one who shows up as a statue. Let's change decks. Tell me about the statue. Let's go with this deck. statue says five of wands in the reverse the world and the hermit five of wands in the reverse says nothing has actually changed for this person it says that it's it's weird because while the rest of the world continues to grow and things change what doesn't change is that they still feel like they are out here you know it, kind of like in a secret hidden cave that you'd have to pass through in order to get to the little tiny sliver of the sea that they stand at. This person has hidden themselves away pretty thoroughly. They don't even know what else is going on. So what we actually have is two characters that both display this energy. One person's boohooing over here because even if I sent a message, they I know that they would just give me stone face, statue face. Meanwhile, that person is over here saying, Nothing has changed. It doesn't matter how much time passes. Nothing changes. I'm still out here kind of off on my own. They are a statue, even though time is passing and things are changing. Their emotions about this haven't changed. Why have their emotions about this not changed? Now, I don't know who is who. I can only call one person the hermit. So they could be a Virgo. does not have to be. Their emotions haven't changed because they have no idea why anything ever happened. They have no idea what happened or why. We have Ace of Coins and we have the Sun in the reverse. So they too said, I just have to have a new beginning without this person. I don't understand what on earth happened. Okay, so they both have a big meltdown. A big, there is a disconnect or a, a completely like, uh, they both think that the other person would be silent. They both think they have to carry on without the other person, but neither of them actually wants to. It doesn't make them happy to do this. They both hold on to these ideas of confusion about what has happened. They both are convinced that the other person, nothing has changed. The other person has never spoken to them. So where is the breakdown in communication? Let's turn to the universe for this. Please remember, these are fictional stories about fictional characters, okay? Hey, San Juanita. Good to see you, darling. Hi, Paigey. Good to see you. Jeannie from the Lamp. Hi. We got eight of sacred circles. We got two of wands. This actually says it's a good thing that these two have not communicated because they actually have had other things to work on. Each one of these characters has had other things to work on. Um... And it has to do with decision making. I, I, please don't get angry at the messenger here. I don't get to pick the cards. It's whatever pops out is whatever I've got to deal with. So what I see here is that the universe is somehow saying, well, each one of them sits at a crossroads, Prince of Sacred Circles. And each one of them eats up a tremendous amount of time in not taking action, nor actually having any growth. They both linger sometimes. 
they work on stuff actually too long. And I say this because this is, you know, like the process of tanning hide. And that's, I mean, it's, it's a long, 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 long process. But they, they work on other things to avoid making a decision about this is how it's, it's turning, turning out to be the storyline here. First, I thought it was good that they're working on other things. Now I'm seeing, no, they're doing everything but dealing with this. So they won't quite neither person will quite let go of this and just move the hell on. They delay and always stay in a place of limbo. Okay, universe, let's help these characters. Three of swords. They're both insisting that they got hurt. That's also probably the biggest blockage of, of all for them to move on. Six of cups, prince of swords. The universe says they were soulmates. They jumped into something really fast, really impulsively. Um, and they both had different expectations about what it was supposed to feel like and look like. Okay. But as soulmates, they had the exact same experience from one another. They were expecting the exact same things and it fell short in the exact same ways. But then they also still feel like they're going to return at some point, but neither person's doing anything about it. Universe, can we get one message for each of them? And a, a hard-hitting message. I want something that's going to just, let's, let's get real with each of these characters, because I want characters to be able to move forward in life. Um, you know, like make decisions about what they really want. So for our, we'll say our hermit character. What's the message that would most help them? Nine of Cups. And this is Year of the Dragon. Nine of Cups. I think our hermit character needs to get back into the business of not being deep in thought and isolating themselves, but they need to start filling their life up with all kinds of enjoyable things. I feel like we've got someone who kind of, kind of walks about and feels a little bit like they're not really happy. They're still thinking too much about this. They need to get their, get their happy on, have some more fun, pursue things that are really enjoyable. Okay, what's the message for the other character, the one who says, well, they wouldn't talk to me even if I did reach out. Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords has a transparency to them. Queen of Swords is somebody who should be good at truth. They should be good at... Um, also giving, they should be better at having boundaries um, and they should be able to be honest with themselves. They might need to consider if they were not open and honest because they were too shut down, they kept information, said, well, I'm not sharing this. I have a boundary. I don't have to tell someone that I love everything about me. They might realize that they should have been more transparent. And at this point, they might need to be more transparent. Boundaries are fine, but being honest and being open is also necessary. If somebody will not speak to them, it's because they were still trying to likely not tell that other person everything. So if they want to start talking to somebody and they tried this in the past, they would try to reach out and they would not say anything real. They would not divulge any kind of authentic conversation. I can see why somebody would turn into stone with them and say, forget it. I don't want to talk to you. You never say anything. It's real. You hide things. A queen of swords should be honest, but sometimes she gets too concentrated on boundaries and boundaries can become gigantic walls. And because this card says she has to learn how to be transparent and still have boundaries, but you can't get to know someone or expect them to be comfortable opening up to you if you seemingly aren't transparent. That's why somebody won't talk to her anymore. Him, her, doesn't matter. This could be either either gender, this could be same sex, doesn't matter. The bottom line is this is what went wrong here. I do think one character, the maybe the, the hermit character, was thinking that that person should have brought more joy into their life and they didn't and it made them very sad. The other person thought they should be able to keep up their walls so freaking high and someone should still want to be around them and they don't. Nobody wants to play with somebody that won't be honest and open. It's not even honest. It's 
they were honest, but they would not speak about massive amounts of information, then you can't get to know somebody with walls too high. So both of them, at least in this story, that seems to be where the blockages were for these characters and why they're currently single. Do these two have a chance together? Or were they soulmates because they had these lessons to learn together? Page of Swords, the universe says, well, they got no chance at anything until they learn, until they gather the information, until they think about things, their own roles that they played in things and the roles that they played with each other, not how that other person did me wrong or what the other person probably will or won't do, <laughs> the Six of Cups, but rather, who was I in the relationship? If they can gather that information about themselves, that will be the opening of the window, that opening dialogue where they're able to now say, I wanted to talk to you. I know that when we were interacting, I've reflected and I know that I was X, Y, or Z. That that might be the place that when they gain the understanding about their own expectations and I don't want to call it flaws, just, you know, the way they presented themselves in a connection when they reflect on that, instead of reflecting on the other person won't talk to me and I'm hurt, they have to get out of that thought process. The other person won't talk to me and I'm hurt. The other person won't talk to me and I'm hurt. That will get them nowhere. That's why they've been lingering in pain, but without really gaining the comprehension of who they were in the connection. And this is not so they can assign blame and say, oh, I was terrible. It's more just to understand where the breakdown was of why they're not talking right now. Anyway, I kind of liked this one because it gave a whole different perspective. Can these two come back and communicate again? Yeah. And they're having, Chimok's having a tea party. They actually have a ton to talk about. They have a ton of like lovely energy to share, but it probably won't happen. Oh, my puppy, my puppy is Captain Protector today. I do not know what his deal is. Um, they won't happen until they get a chance to reflect from a different perspective about their own stuff. All right, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you again in the next one. I got to go check and see if I have unexpected visitors. <laughs> Bye, guys.